Hey everyone, I just want to give a little backstory before I start the video. So this video is from a couple weeks ago in Phoenix. I was doing a club. I was the fourth comic up in the lineup. The first three comics were all heckled by the same lady. She was drunk, loud, and just interrupting their sets. She started yelling during my set, so naturally I had to roast her. I promise you it was well deserved. She even went on to heckle the comic after me, and the club had to remove her. So, pretty crazy stuff. Uh, if you enjoy the video, please like and subscribe. Hope you enjoy it. Here it is. Phoenix, yeah. Phoenix. That was unnecessary. <laughs> She's just like, oh, what should I do at the beginning of this set? Uh, should I just shut the fuck up and be quiet? No, I'll just yell the city that we're in. Like any of us forgot. Although it would have been way better if she just had no fucking clue. She's like, Sacramento! Sacramento's cool! <laughs> That's a weird way to start a set. Jesus Christ. Um, probably not the last interruption from her. She seems a little excited. <laughs> we know he was drinking before the show. Oh my god. That is not the last year. Yeah! Yeah! She's averaging like one comment a minute. Sponsored by every hard liquor in the city. <laughs> She's listening to my cocaine joke. She's like, that's true. That's true. I like my job. I learn a lot of cool stuff. So I have two coworkers who are originally from China. Learn something cool. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> What, anytime I mention any geographic plot of land, you're gonna fucking repeat it? What are you, a cartographer? What the fuck is going on here? What? All right, fine. Written material's gone. What's your name? You squeezed it out of me. What's your name? Wearing a hat indoors, you disrespectful fuck. What's your name? Oh, I'm sorry, Anne. What? <laughs> like, what's your name? Emily? Yeah. What, you let him speak for you? Yeah. Why isn't he the one yelling? He was. Oh, cool. Uh, now it can be formal. Erica, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Back to the scripted material, the thing that all of you motherfuckers paid for. <laughs> so like I said, it is uh, something something foreskin, I'm Jewish, right. So, uh... <laughs> One person who had it pretty bad was my 93-year-old uh, grandmother. She did not leave the house once during quarantine. Uh, she wasn't exactly leaving the house before then, but now that it's involuntary, she's like, this is fucked up. Uh, <laughs> she's got some problems. She has dementia. Uh, what's it like having dementia? <laughs> Watch, she's gonna repeat something she already said and completely prove my point. She does have, my grandma does have dementia. This is an unfortunately true story. She called me last month. I answered the phone. Dementia, everybody. Not one of these interactions has gone favorably for you. You're, you're like the Minnesota Timberwolves. You're like, we'll get him one day. Like, yeah. I planned on just doing regular material, but this is pretty fucking fun. This is, I like it. This is good, especially when it's someone who has no clever bone in their body. 